Welcome to section 12.4. All right, gentle people, we're going to continue our discussion on the quantization of atoms. And what you might recall from the last lecture is we got a line spectrum out of our hydrogen emission. Now, one thing scientists can try to do, they can try to predict where these lines are going to appear, or they can model the existing lines and try to fit it to an equation. And that's exactly what Rydberg did. He took the emission lines out of the hydrogen atom and he fit it to an equation. And this is the Rydberg equation. Now what you should note with the hydrogen atom is that there is one electron. So what Rydberg did is try to expand it to one electron scenarios. And what I mean by that is if I take helium, which has two electrons, and I remove one electron so I get helium plus, I have one electron. For lithium, I can do the same. Lithium has three electrons. If I remove two, I put a two plus charge on it. It has one electron. And what he found out is that he, he can map the energies of an electron in a certain orbital. And that is given by this equation right here. So in both equations, you start out with a constant. N is going to be the energy level your electron is in. And for the second equation, Z is going to be the number of protons. So going back to my little chart right here, for hydrogen, you would put one, for helium two, and lithium three. Go ahead and read this quiz question and answer accordingly. So the first thing we're gonna write is that we have a change in energy. And remember, that's energy final minus energy initial. Now, energy is given by the equation minus 2.178 times 10 to the negative 18th joules times z squared over n squared. So if I were to substitute this in for my initial and final states, I could write the equation delta energy equals minus 2.178 times 10 to the negative 18th z squared over the final end state squared minus z squared over the initial end state squared. Now all I have to do is plug in numbers. So I have my constant out in front, and in this case we have a hydrogen atom. Hydrogen has a z equal to one, and z squared, if it's one, is going to equal one. So I'm gonna put one for my z squared. Now I started at n equals six, so I'm gonna put six squared here, and my electron ended up in n equals two. So I'm gonna put two squared for my final end state. If I calculate this out, I get negative 4.84 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. Before I close this out, I wanna highlight what our transition is. I started at n equals six, and I went to n equals two. So I'm dropping energy levels, so this is going to be an emission. Now remember, if I have an emission, I'm going to have a negative delta E, and that's exactly what you guys calculated out for this problem. Well, I hope that made sense, and remember to stay safe, Chem1A.